UConn country waking up this morning probably with some big smiles on their faces after a huge win last night that will advance the team to the NCAA tournament's final four. Yeah, the game had everyone on the edge of their seats. Ultimately, the Huskies snagged victory in the double overtime game against NC State. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live in the studio now with us. Marcy, it's nice to be reporting on good news. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> over here, over here. You can tell that I never played in high school, over right? <laughs> Woo! Shoot. Over here, over here. Shoot. Score! Score! <laughs> Woo! I think that we should join the team, Scott. What do you think? I think I'm going to take a seat. Well, this celebration certainly is going to last through the week up until Friday. The next time that they step on the court, UConn may be the only team in the Final Four this year that's not a first place seed, but... Of course, they've earned their place there. They're a spectacular program year after year. An unforgettable classic. And UConn outlasts NC State 91-87. The crowd went wild after that final buzzer, signaling that what was a complete nail-biter of a game ended in victory for the UConn women's basketball team, beating out their opponents from NC State to advance in the tournament. This is the 16th year the UConn women have won an Elite Eight game and their 14th straight Final Four. Fans say the feeling in Bridgeport on Monday was absolutely wild. I was so excited and so happy. I also feel happy for them and excited. It was a tough game, but it was worth it. The next time you can catch the Huskies play is in Friday. They're going to Minnesota. They're going to Minneapolis more specifically. That's where they're going to take on Stanford in the Final Four. Our very own Joe Zone will be there to bring you the very best coverage. Live in the studio, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.